welcome back to my channel please if this is your first time don't forget to like share comment and of course subscribe in today's video we will be making flax seed shampoo these are the things that you're going to need some essential oils your flax seed you could either use the dr brunner's soap or you could use dr woods which is the one i will be using today so i got my flax seeds from amazon so you guys can definitely get yours there i started by adding five tablespoons of flax seeds into my mixing bowl the reason why i did five was because i wanted a big quantity so if you guys are looking to make something smaller i would definitely advise that you use maybe two or three tablespoons so after adding my five tablespoons of flax seeds i am then going to add two cups of water so at first i added two but then i noticed that it needed more water so i ended up adding one more cup making it a total of three cups of water then i am going to transfer it into a pot and let it boil until it thickens you want to put this in low heat and watch it so i actually ended up adding one more cup of water making it a total of four cups of water because again i noticed that it was small and i just wanted a bigger amount of shampoo so you're gonna watch and see that it gets really slimy and that's okay that's the gel that you need from the flax seeds to make the shampoo now let's talk about some benefits of flax seeds it is a great source of omega-3 fatty acids that nourishes the hair it reduces breakage, hence making your hair longer. It promotes scalp health, soothes the scalp, makes your hair stronger and healthier at a more rapid rate. So you really want to do something like this, you know, use flax seeds to make a shampoo, use flax seeds to um, do a daily spray because it is very beneficial to the hair. So now after it has thickened, I went ahead and strained it. This is all the gel I got from it. Now let's get into making the shampoo. Now I am going to go ahead and add my oils because as you can see, they are already measured out. I started by adding one quarter cup of Jamaican castor oil, then one tablespoon of peppermint oil, half tablespoon of amla oil. You guys don't have to add all these oils you could just choose to add one tablespoon of one essential oil i just prefer to add a lot of oils because i do not want my hair to get dried out from using the shampoo i'm then going to go ahead and add two cups of dr wood soap this is actually my first time using this brand of soap so i am very curious to see if it's going to foam and how my hair is going to love it you want to make sure that you mix everything up very well now let's just keep in mind that if you're making a smaller quantity you're going to use less of the flax seed and less of the liquid soap and if you're making more you're going to use more flax seeds and more of the liquid soap the essential oils that i used for mine were amla peppermint oil and of course jamaican castor oil um i just checked the consistency and i really like how it is it's not too thick it's not too watery it's just right i'm then going to transfer it into my shampoo bottle which i also got from amazon um, if you guys want the link let me know and i will be glad to share it this brings us to the end of the video thank you guys for watching please don't forget to like share comment and of course subscribe um, I will see you in my next video. If you do try this, if you do try making this shampoo, guys, let me know how it goes. Bye, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.